You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. One of the key players for Kentucky Volleyball is Madison Lilly, whose play this season earned her AVCA Regional Player of the Year honors. Maggie and I talked with her about the team's goals for the NCAA tournament. Madison, first off, uh, congratulations on being in the NCAA tournament. It was no doubter that you were going to be there. As a number two seed, you get the bye. What does that mean to you um, to have a little extra time to get ready for that first opponent? And at the same time, you haven't played in a while. Yeah, it has been weird. Uh, we have, yeah, it seems like a long time since we've played, since we have been playing back to back and um, pretty much weekly in the SEC. So we've had kind of like 12 days to get ready and um, finally got to Omaha getting settled. Everyone's unpacked, actually putting clothes in the drawers for the first time ever, I can finally say. Um, but it's going to be nice just to kind of get adjusted before we get on the court come Thursday. I know first round is tomorrow, so it'll be good for us to kind of see what we're working with, um, get our eyes set on who our opponent will be for Thursday. But other than that, we're just excited to get on the court. You mentioned that sort of 12 day span. I'm sure that felt like a long time to you after such a fast paced season. When you've had such a successful regular season and SEC tournament season, how, what do you focus on? during those 12 days when you know you're in good shape, you're the overall number two <laughs> seed, but you still, I'm sure, are trying to get better and work on some things. What was the focus in those 12 days? Yeah, just kind of going back to fundamentals, I think revisiting some details, things like footwork, some of the more, I guess, like mundane things because we can't come in every single day and play six on six. Um, it's good to be in shape, but it's not good to be burnt out. So um, doing a lot of position group work um, breaking things down, I think that's been really awesome for us to kind of revisit almost preseason type of um, drills and things like that. So that's been pretty beneficial for us. And then when we do finally all come together for six on six, it's very noticeable that we all have been kind of like fine tuning certain skills, which is fun to see. So um, like I said, we're just excited to, to get on the court and compete. Talking to the ABCA Southeast Regional Player of the Year, what was that like to hear that news? Who told you? What was your reaction? And just your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, I actually got a text from Anders, our assistant, and I was like a little caught off guard at first. And then I checked social media and um, saw the graphic and all of that, which I love the graphics that our um, our social media team makes. They're the best. But um, it's really cool. And I think honors are great and all of that. And we talk about it as a team, but no one could be where we are without all the power of 15. So um, whether that's Cam during setting individuals, she's pushing me every single day to be better. Um, Gabby, all of our passers, liberos, DS, I mean, they just make my job so easy. And then obviously we have some really big arms that make my job super fun too. So um, yes, it's cool, but at the same time, you can't enjoy moments like that without having the teammates like I have, um, and especially without going through, I mean, what has been a eight, nine month long period of um, struggle and perseverance. Um, all of that alludes to things like this and today's like today, but like I said, it's really about the group. Um, and I'm excited to be here in Omaha and compete with them um, on this final little leg. So You talked about the power of 15 there, but five of those Wildcats also made it on the ABCA list that we were just talking about, plus some recognition for head coach Craig Skinner, <laughs> of course. How beneficial is it to have a team that is just so deep, especially like when you mentioned this has been an eight or nine month season. It's been a grind. How important has it been to have so many different Wildcats who can go out there and compete night in and night out? It's everything. I mean, um, whether it's injuries or fatigue or whatever it may be to know that we all have each other's back on and off the court, physically, mentally. It's been a really long season and being able to kind of lean in and know that we're all in this together no matter what is pretty much the game changer. I mean, I can't imagine being um, in a year like this in any other program and we're all lucky that we don't ever have to imagine that, but um, there's no other group that I'd rather go through this with and everyone that is or is not getting an award contributes to that we the five six of us that got award we couldn't do it without everyone else and that's sounds cliche but it really is the truth um and it's it's so much more than just that for all of us and i can speak pretty proudly for everyone um when it comes to that it's uh, it's a team effort it really is and like i said that's what makes this so fun because it's not about egos or individual um awards or anything like that that's not 
how we run at Kentucky Volleyball, which is, I know, not the case at other programs. So we're really fortunate to not have that be the focal point, but rather just, like I said, the power of 15. Madison, we certainly look forward to watching this team uh, make its run in the NCAA tournament. We, we wish you nothing but luck, and congratulations again on the awards. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll turn our attention to UK football. Eli Gain talks with UK assistant Ryan Fink about his childhood health scare and how he wants to use that experience to help others. We'll be right back.